people often misunderstand oral lichen planus. They think that all lesions will finally lead to cancer. But the answer is no. Oral lichen planus is an inflammatory disease in the mouth, which might lead to a lot of discomfort to the suffering person. Not all lesions might turn into oral cancer. There is a probability of up to 2% in patients suffering from oral lichen planus, who might experience lesion turning into oral cancer. So, let us understand, why oral lichen planus turns into cancer? Every lesion in oral lichen planus might not turn into oral cancer in every patient. There are some predisposing factors added to genetic susceptibility, for determining whether a person might develop or has developed oral cancer. Oral lichen planus itself might never turn into oral cancer unless it is provoked by other confounding factors. Here is a list of factors that might aggravate the process of conversion of oral lichen planus into oral cancer. 1. People with smoking habits are more susceptible to developing oral cancer. 2. Chronic alcoholics might have a high probability of developing oral cancer. 3. Patients with uncontrolled diabetes and recurrent candidal infection in the mouth might develop oral cancer. 4. Patients with susceptible genes for cancer might develop oral cancer from oral lichen planus at a faster pace. 5. Chronic irritation in the region of lichen planus due to root stumps or sharp teeth, might lead to long-standing ulcers, which might later develop into oral cancer. In most patients, oral lichen planus is a regular lesion that might cause some discomfort like burning sensation and pain in the mouth. But in very few, it might turn into a harmful lesion and might lead to oral cancer. In our next section, we will know, how to identify cancer symptoms, in oral lichen planus patients. Here are a few symptoms you should identify as the most common risk factors. They might indicate an oral lichen planus lesion, turning into oral cancer. The first presentation is a persistent ulcer, which might develop in the region of oral lichen planus. Long-standing persistent ulcers, which are not healing, are a sign of malignant changes. Ulcers in patients with oral lichen planus usually heal within a few days or when once the remission of the lesion starts. But in patients who are developing oral cancer, these ulcers remain persistent and will not heal. The second indication is observing a growth, in the region of lichen planus. Growth in and around the oral lichen planus lesion might be a sign of oral cancer. We might see a proliferative growth, in the involved region, which might be painless, unless infected with a secondary infection. The region in and around the growth becomes hard. The third alarming symptom is a change in the consistency of the skin, within the mouth. Oral cancer develops with the development of a condition called dysplasia in the cells. Hence as the dysplasia increases at the cellular level, the tissues become more leathery and tough. As a result, the skin inside the mouth becomes hard and leathery in consistency. Such patients might experience an increased burning sensation. Moreover, the lesion appears bright red in color and often bleeds on mild trauma. So let us understand, how to diagnose developing oral cancer in oral lichen planus patients? People often panic when they observe some change in their oral cavity or mouth. But one thing should be remembered. Lichen planus turning into oral cancer is rare. There are a lot of factors that influence oral lichen planus. Hence every change you see in your mouth might not be related to oral cancer. But in case of doubt, you can confirm that from a biopsy. You can always visit your dentist, and have a biopsy done for diagnosis. Do not jump to conclusions, as oral lichen planus is treatable. A biopsy is the gold standard for oral lichen planus diagnosis. It is always better to have a second opinion, on your histopathological report, in case you still have a doubt about the lesion. Now you might think that, can we prevent oral cancer? developing from oral lichen planus? The answer is yes. To some extent, you can follow these simple rules or guidelines to have a safe healing process during the stages of exacerbation in oral lichen planus. The first rule is to have a healthy diet. Have good and healthy food. A healthy diet helps in healing the skin inside the mouth. As a result, the oral lichen planus lesions heal faster and will not irritate the mouth for longer periods. Food, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, aid in faster healing and provide relief, from burning sensations. 
lesser irritation has fewer chances of lesion turning into oral cancer. Trim your sharp teeth. Sharp teeth often irritate the skin around the teeth. It might result in traumatic ulcers, which might later turn into oral cancer. Hence always have your sharp teeth trimmed. Tooth surfaces with smooth cusps aid in reducing friction between teeth the skin within the mouth. Control blood glucose levels. High and uncontrolled blood glucose levels might often cause severe candidal infections in the mouth. Such presentation should be stopped as a prolonged candidal infection inside the mouth might lead to oral cancer. In simple words, the candidal infection might hasten the process of oral cancer development in these patients. Good oral hygiene. Good oral hygiene is vital for your overall health. Studies say that patients with poor oral hygiene have elevated symptoms of burning sensation and other presentations in oral lichen planus. Hence, dentists often advise patients with oral lichen planus to undergo teeth cleaning and polishing regularly. It aids in the maintenance of good oral hygiene and also reduces the severity of symptoms. Get away from irritants. Recently, I have read an article in a blog regarding baking soda wash for treating lichen planus. I was shocked. How can people be so dumb to use an irritant to clean or treat oral lichen planus? My sincere advice to all the readers is that there is plenty of nonsense available on the net. Be cautious and selective while following. Baking soda might cause or increase the severity of oral lichen planus as it irritates the mucosa or skin in the mouth. If you find something more irritating in the mouth, my advice is to stop using it as it might aggravate oral lichen planus. Some toothpaste that contains clove and other acidic materials might cause a severe burning sensation in patients with oral lichen planus. Such patients should avoid using these pastes. Regular checkup. Visit your dentist regularly and have checkups done. Regular monitoring of the condition in your mouth is vital for properly managing the disease. Any change in the lesion type or character might draw the attention of your dentist in time. It can be confirmed by a diagnosis that prevents further complications. Hope our video has provided enough insight on this topic. For more information, you can also buy our best-seller book on A Patient's Guide to Oral Lichen Planus at Amazon. The links are given in the description. Hope you like the video. If so please share and subscribe to our channel Denta Digest. In case of any questions feel free to comment below. Thank you.